Hi folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today I'm showing you around this 2010 60 plate Hyundai i30 Comfort. And this is the five door estate model of Hyundai i10. A little bit rarer than the, uh, the hatchback, but a lot more practical because it's got a great um, big boot on the back of it. I'll show you that in a minute. This is a particularly interesting car because it's only done around about 58,000 miles from new. Um, got an interesting history it's got full service history but it has had a clock change on it um, previously so it's only showing currently uh, 30 some odd thousand miles and it's, uh, it's, it's it's documented in the service history the previous um, mileage it had done so we'll work that out together in a minute but very low mileage for the year because it's now 13 years old it's in excellent condition I would say uh, it's, I'm literally just picked it up from the dealership. I'm here in, in Ross and at the moment where this car was picked up from. And I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with what I've got because 13 year old Hyundai, you know, I wasn't expecting an immaculate car, but I pretty much have got that. It's uh, It's been very well looked after by its previous owner. I'm told it hasn't even been valeted since it came into the dealership. They actually brought it in looking like it's just had a full valet. So they've either gone to the trouble of valeting it before they had exchanged it or they, they must have looked after it so well that it, 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 you know there's barely a, uh, a spot of dust inside this car so it's very very unusual for uh, for a used car to uh, to be presented in such amazing condition um 60 plate so okay we're getting on a little bit in years it's 13 years old but it's very very low mileage i've just taken it for a brief drive around the block air conditioning's working as it should the uh, the brakes all feel very good. The steering feels great. Everything on this car feels like it's done a very low mileage. So that's very important. Um, it's in, I would say, a very nice color as well. This mid blue, I don't know what the name of it is. I'm sure someone will probably tell me, but um, suits the car really well. It looks quite a bright thing. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna make a great little family car for someone who you know, doesn't wanna spend a great deal of money, but wants quality. And that's the great thing with Hyundai now is that they have, they're a quality car. Um, the build quality of these things is only rivaled really by the Japanese giants like Toyota and Honda really. Um, they, they're very, very reliable things. They tend not to, uh, to give any massive grief um, and parts are quite cheap for them as well. They've become quite a mainstream uh, manufacturer now, Kia and Hyundai. And um, because of that, parts have become plentiful, cheap, and reliable so it's almost the korean cars are really on par now with the japanese stuff now i'm going to take you around the car briefly it's 13 years old so please understand it's very very clean but it's not brand new so there's a tiny little stone chip that's gone created some lacquer peel by there above the number plate and also a little area where the same things happened under this headlight that's the first thing and we're not going to go paint in the bumper for that it doesn't really stand out, you know, if you're a couple of paces back from the car, but it is obviously an imperfection. Coming down the side of the car, well, it's all very, very good in fairness. There's the lightest of light scratches in the paintwork by there. Looks like someone's just brushed against it with a trolley or something like that. Same by here. Can you see that? And seen by here actually is that polish <laughs> it looks like polish that does but it looks like it might be a little mark there nothing horrendous though is there and again once you're a few paces back from the car it doesn't really show up now i did notice a little mark on this door same guy with the same trolley perhaps let's come down this door and caught the door by here what earth is that on my finger how weird there we go better again it's not something that stands out. It's not something really that detracts from the overall excellent presentation of this car. Um, if you really that fussy that those things matter to you, I would suggest you don't buy a 13 year old car because they don't really come much better than this in the real world. Um, and bear in mind, I haven't even cleaned this car. I haven't touched the paint. Uh, this, this car is literally as it came into the dealer as it was part exchanged by a customer. So it's very, very good indeed. Now, let's take you around the car, the interior, and then we'll show you how this history pans out on the car as well, the service history.
First of all, it's the estate model. It's got a good size boot on it. It's got the parcel shelf still in place. It's got the seats which tether down, give you a, uh, a flat floor once you put those middle seats down and give you an absolutely huge capacity. And I think it's a bit of a false floor on these, yeah. So you have got a bit of space under there. Um, these lift up again. I won't do it now. There is a, a space saver spare wheel under there. But uh, as I'm trying to film it, it's a bit difficult. More quickly will be lifting interior trim out. But good size boot. Doesn't look like it's had a lot of hard wear to it. And uh, perfect for families, camping, and uh, anything else you can think of. Trips to the, trips to B and Q. Let's move on to the back. Very very clean in the back. Um, room for three kids, two adults, and uh, plenty of leg room in these cars. They are quite a well um, well designed car in terms of headroom and stuff like that. The roof line's quite high on this, so you have got plenty of head space as well as knee room. That's very important, um, especially as kids are growing and stuff like that. You need to make sure you've got headroom in the car. Um, the i30, while it might be a little bit boxier than some of its rivals, it does manage to keep that roof line quite high towards the back. And that's good news if you're looking for an accommodating car. And moving on to the front, not really any wear to speak of. It does look like it's done 50 odd thousand miles, not, uh, not anymore. There's a little bit of wear in that bolster because they do tend to go on these Hyundai's, unfortunately. If you buy one with 90 or 100 thousand miles, you'll find that's started to wear through. Um, overall though, very, very clean. The wheel has got a little bit of um, leather wear to it. I think it's more or less like painted on leather they put on these iron in fairness. So it's, uh, we'll probably just put a little uh, cover, a proper steering wheel cover on this just to tidy it up a little bit. But let's jump in behind the wheel. Right, I'm gonna start the car up quickly for you because I wanna show you it's starting up and then show you the service history that it's got. Now, you can probably see on there, it's only done 39,000 miles according to the clocks, but they have been changed. So I'll show you how that pans out in a second because I've got it all documented in the car's service book. But um, just to show you, we've got air conditioning, it's blowing ice cold. We've got a decent CD stereo there, which has got a USB input if you want to play off your, your mobile phone. Plenty of little cubbies to store things in. What's that, an ashtray? Yeah, two, uh, two 12 volt sockets down there as well. And we got cup holders, very important. So it's modern, it's simple, it does everything you need it to. We've got front and rear electric windows and we've got electric mirrors in this car. So it's got a decent spec. As I say, the only real thing you could fault it on was having a slightly uh, worn lever on the steering wheel. But again, it's very, very light um, and it's not something you want to worry about. We've got two sets of books for this car. We've got the uh, the original um, Hyundai folder there with the manuals in it, and then a further leather bound wallet here with the service books in it. And it's the service book that I want to show you. So, let's have a quick look what we've got. Here is the, the initial service schedule for the car. So I've got 14,000 miles there was the pre-delivery inspection uh, in October 2010. First service was done in 2011 at 2,300 miles. 12, 2012, 5,700 miles. It's doing less than 3,000 miles a year at this point. And um, in 2013, it had done 8,900 miles. All these services are done by Hyundai. So cross over onto the next page and this is where it gets interesting because in 2015 the car done 19,000 miles and it had a speedo change okay so that was back to zero then at 19 so we need to add 19,594 19,600 miles to whatever the car is displaying currently the car currently is displaying 39,000 200. So in actual fact, this car has done 58,800 miles roughly. Still very low, but obviously uh, you need to be aware that it's you know had a speedo change. Anyway, we're back to zero now. So 2016, it's 
on 6,000 miles. So they're doing a little bit more mileage now, isn't it? 2017, up to 15,000 miles. Again, all Hyundai. 22,000 miles in 2018. And then 31,000 miles uh, without a date on it, by the looks, but I would assume that was like 2019, 2020, judging by the miles it's done. So I haven't got any more service stamps after that one, so we'll give it a little service before it goes anywhere. But certainly as, as the Hyundai did all the servicing on this car and they stamped the book to say that that speedo change had been done, um, I'm happy to guarantee that this car's only done 58,800 miles from you. But there we are. A little bit different. The speedo change, in my opinion, it doesn't have to be a problem as long as you know about it. Obviously, I would not want to misrepresent a car. Um, the mileage on this car currently is incorrect. But, you know, I have got a documented history. And that's important. Um, so, we're going to work on it having 58,800 miles. And we're going to work on the fact that, uh, that all the services have been done pretty much up to schedule. So we'll just do a quick service on it now before it goes anywhere. Overall, it's a really, really nice car for someone this. If you, if you want something that's pretty economical to buy, pretty comfortable and spacious for your family. But... You know, it's not going to cost you a lot to run, this isn't. And that's the real appeal, appeal of Hyundai's to me. They're obviously... They're designed to do a job. They're not a car that is going to be pinned on the bedroom walls of every teenage boy in the UK. Um, they're not going to be something that you will find on a poster in your local poster shop but they are a good looking car and they do everything well. And that's the beauty of the Hyundai i30. Drives well, handles well. It's got space inside for a family of five and their luggage, and it's not gonna go wrong. It's a car that you can jump in every morning, start it up and know that it's gonna turn over and get you to work on time. It's, it's the sort of car really that I just love driving when I do this job because I, I've had enough sometimes of of cars with issues and problems doing my head in and uh, it's nice sometimes just to jump in a car that you know is going to be reliable every time I sell a Hyundai i30 I can smile because I know I'm not going to have any warranty claims or issues with it they're just one of those cars that you very rarely have problems with so when you find a low mileage one like this it really is quite special a lot of these cars have been bought by people who've mistreated them and misused them and they're starting to look quite tired by the time they're this age, but this one looks, well, still pretty much like a new car. Really looks very presentable indeed. And um, because it's a petrol version, of course, it's ULES compliant. It's a 1.6 Comfort model, this is. Um, so ULES compliant, does around about 45 to the gallon, doesn't cost the earth to tax or insure. So if it's of interest to you, please give us a call. My number is 07932 873 646. Please give us a like, give us a share, subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications and you'll be alerted of new cars that we've got on sale, more car buying advice and anything else we've got coming up in the future. That number one more time, 07932 873 646. Nationwide delivery on our cars, so let us know where you are, we'll work a price out to get it to you and also happy to take your old car in part exchange so don't delay give us a ring and thanks ever so much for watching this video have a great day wherever you are goodbye for now